Nader, starring in Another Adventure of Shannon. games. I was hitchhiking, wasn't I? You hadn't been out on that highway five minutes. Did you run away because your aunt told you I was coming to pick you up? Right, Donna? My name's Marie, and I don't have an aunt. I have a written court order authorizing me to take one Donna Humphrey to Los Angeles to assist us in locating her father. So, uh, whether you like it or not, I'm going to assume I have the right person. If you want to give me a lift, fine. I don't know anything about the rest of it. hitchhiking dangerous. If I hadn't seen you first and cut in, those two men could have picked you up, Donna. My name's Mary. It was Marie a moment ago. Maybe they're watching you, making sure I'm all right. People are a lot nicer than you think, Mr. Shannon. Or 18. Either way, you're old enough for me to be completely honest with you. You know, I had a crush on a teacher once who looked like you. Isn't that silly? I was just practically a baby then. Yeah. Well, now, Donna, the company I work for insures all kinds of carriers. One of them, a firm that transports money between banks, had $100,000 stolen from it. A man would have to be very clever to do that, wouldn't he? Or maybe desperate like a father who has failed at everything and takes one final risk to give the daughter he loves all the things he thinks she should have. You know, I'm so hungry I could eat a cow. Shall we go Dutch? I'm not a policeman, Donna. We're not interested in putting your father in jail. We want to avoid paying off on that loss. Now, we know how close you and your father have been since your mother died. And we're pretty sure that you plan to meet him in Los Angeles. Now, why? Are you going to leave the country with him? I'm just going to see Hollywood again. I used to live there once. When your father used to be a character actor. I know. And then, after he had that run of bad luck... Why should I help you catch some poor man who's never done anything wrong before and who's probably out of his mind with fear? Why don't you... 
don't you buy us that cow you were talking about? You like malts? I'm mad about them. Now, go on. ZM-15312, Denver Registry, Joe Shannon calling William Cochran, Transport Bonding and Surety Building, Denver, Colorado. Hello, do I have the man in the gray flannel? I thought I'd give you a buzz while she's out getting us a malt. I'll give you 10 to 1, it's chocolate. Shannon, these phone calls cost money. We're already in hock for 100,000. Uh, but Cochran, you don't seem to understand something. At 16, the flavor of a malt can be the most important decision of the day. Now, if you want business, we're being followed. Two men in a convertible. License OML-893. I'm wondering if they were in Yuma for the same reason I was. I barely got to her first. Well, if there's anything to the story that her father's trying to ditch his accomplices, this could make sense. Right. They'd want her as badly as we do. She's still the only lead we have to her father. I don't like question marks. Jump them if necessary. I'm flying out tonight. You have the answers for me when I get there. What do you mean, jump them, Cochran? This girl is my responsibility. Now, look, she's a nice kid. I like her. And I'm not going to take any chances on her being hurt. I'm going to try and ditch these characters. And I'll see you tomorrow. Shannon. Shannon! Operator, give me the State Highway Patrol Office, Indio. Have one of your cars intercept them and check them out. Use caution because they may be wanted. But either way, be sure to delay them until I'm out of sight. Right. Chocolate? New flavor. Avocado. Sounds good, huh?
have seat belts. Check yours again and hang on tight. Oh, crash! We gotta risk it. It's our only chance of losing him. I thought you might like some company. And someone to watch me, is that it? I'll take the groceries. Good. Donna, uh, why don't you sit down? Well, that man we're looking for is desperately lonely and unhappy. He's lost his wife, everything in the world that counts except his daughter. And he's so confused that he, he thinks that he can provide for her by stealing. My father's a, a salesman. He's on a trip. His last letter to you was postmarked Los Angeles. Your aunt saw you burning it. That's when she notified us. Donna. Honey, she's your father's sister. She loves him as much as you do, but she's wise enough to want to stop this thing now before it goes any further. Were you coming here to meet your father and leave the country with him? Or were you going to try and stop him too? I'd count on the last. Thanks, Kate. You're welcome. Thank you. Sort of a chaperone? The court order requires it because you're underage. What if no one had told you? I bet you'd think I was older. I was asked to a dance by a college boy once. I don't blame him. You're a very pretty girl. How old are you, Mr. Shannon? <laughs> Why? I just wondered. My father says I act at least 20, maybe more. I did today, didn't I? Are we finally talking about the same father? You're not married, are you, Mr. Shannon? I mean, it's terrible being treated like you need your nose wiped or something. When two people go through a lot of things together like we did. I mean, it's like a shipwreck or something and being stranded together on a desert island. Donna, sit down. was killed in an automobile accident five years ago. As far as beauty goes, I'd say you were a match for her. But she had some things you haven't had time to get. A college education, experience in life, maturity. She was intelligent, graceful, companion, a friend. lovely thing like she was, inside and out. It takes time. Now, I think you're going to be that. And when you are, an elderly investigator named Shannon is going to be the least of your interests. I bet you're laughing at me. No, no, I'm not. If you think I am, you're not wise enough to be even 16. Mr. Shannon, what if I was here to stop him? And I made him return the money. Would he go to jail? Honey, he's committed a crime. I can't change that even if I want to. But I can tell you this. If he returns that money voluntarily, it'll make a tremendous difference. Will you help us? Can we talk about it in the morning? Well, sure. I understand it's, it's a big decision. I'll, I'll give you time. Okay. We've still got a couple of characters unaccounted for, so uh, let's play it safe and keep the night chain hooked. All right. Night, honey. Night. Night. Yeah? Oh, he 
is, huh? Thanks. Well, what do you got? Wouldn't you like to say hello, huh? Oh, hello, Mills. How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks. Go ahead. The film made it easy to identify Shannon's playmates. Stub Carter driving, Homer Jackson next to him. Wanted, Illinois, Indiana, etc. Polonius assault, armed robbery, and a few other things. Oh, by the way, the highway patrol threw a loop around the dry lake, but they broke out somehow. And the Phil locks them in as the team that helped Humphrey take the money. Yeah, Humphrey probably told them that his daughter was living in Yuma with her aunt. What else? Well, we know Humphrey swiped a makeup kit from his old studio. It'll be hard to identify. That's what we're counting on Donna for. Now, if she decides not to talk and makes a break for it, the policewoman will signal our local investigator is standing by. But she's just a kid. It would have been simpler just to have dragged the story out of her. What would you have used? Lighted matches under her fingernails? Now, come on, Cochran, be reasonable. This girl is an intelligent human being. Shannon. Check. And she just went out the back window. We're on our way. <laughs> This is Benford, Shannon. She went directly to 122 Lister Street. How long until you get here? It's a third-rate trench in hotel, Shannon. You want me to follow her in, or do you want me Benford, we're on our way. Benford, come in. Come in. I was reading you fine. Come in, Binford. coming after her through the back way. I don't know where they came from. Listen, mister, you a cop? Listen, I'm running the first class place here. I don't stand for any shenanigans at all. First class all the way. Benford's okay. Just got a nice slump. What do you got? Did you hear anything? Oh, I heard some stomping around, but... I probably took her down the fire escape. Look at this here. Yokohama. Today is the 19th. The new shoe Morrow pulls out of Pier 13 for Yokohama. Here, uh, 4.20 this afternoon. It's nearly four now. Oh, boy, let's go.
once, he can make himself look and act different. If my father was that good an actor, he wouldn't have to steal to take care of me. Take him. Somebody's working the freight yards there. Lifted a cargo no. we bonded. More than $60,000. No, 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 Cochran. I made a promise to take Miss Humphrey back to her aunt in Yuma, and I'm going to keep it. I don't understand you, Shannon. This kid, I mean, Miss Humphrey, did everything she could to get out of the country with her father. I came to Los Angeles to stop him, even if it meant leading those two men to him. Besides, I knew Mr. Shannon would get there in time. I'll give you a call from Yuma, Cochran. I may be a little late, though. We've got a stop to make along the way. A wonderful malt I discovered. Yeah, avocado flavor. Would you like the recipe? No, thanks. That's oh, a shame. They get soft behind the desk. Come on. been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.